Gorilla Descent caused some major shakeups last time out in the A Division, and we are back for the penultimate event of the B Division in Season 4. Hello and welcome to the Quadrilla Descent. If what we saw last time out was anything to go by, things are going to get physical in this event. Once again, two teams will go head to head, and the goal is to get as far down the course as possible with all four of your marbles to advance. And with just one B Division event to go after this one, these teams are going to do whatever it takes to get the win here, because the stakes couldn't be higher for all of our teams from top to bottom. As we look at the standings after event 6, the triathlon, the bobble squad with their gold and 3 medals in a row have taken the lead of the blue lotus, and as the pumpkin match, icicles in 4th, bacon brawlers, amber animals, mountain climbers, team nectar all in the top half, and all of them could still be well in this title fight with a good result here. Amber animals and the rock pools are going to start us off, amber animals led by power rock pools led by cove, amber animals have lost tomorrow very early, both teams have lost another one in the 2 zone. Amber Animals have two going though, just one going now, and they're only going to get one finisher compared to the Rock Pools 2. I think the Rock Pools are pretty easily going to be moving on here. Amber Animals with one very early loss, they pretty much needed to get more finishers than the Rock Pools to keep pace with them, and they're not going to. Rock Pools are going to pull off an upset victory here in the first round. They're not quite in the relegation zone, but aren't safe by any means, so they're going to be very happy with this victory here and advancement. Amber Animals are going to be knocked out. That puts a dent in their title hopes. Now, Bacon Brothers and the Hazelnuts. Hazelnuts, led by Philbert, the vice captain. Hazel, the captain, sitting this one out. Oh, Hazelnuts have two models getting shoved aside by the Bacon Brothers. Three of the Bacon Brothers still going. Hazelnuts, two. Oh, and the Hazelnuts will only get one finisher. One of the marbles getting halted in their tracks right next to the finish line. But that's only going to be eight points for them. And two twos in there for the Hazelnuts means that they are not going to move on here. Pretty easily. Bacon Brothers with three finishers easily going to be moving on here. The Hazelnuts so unfortunately so close. Not going to do it though for them. Only 22 points. Bacon Brothers by 12 points are going to get the win. That is a drumming if I've ever seen one. Now the third heat. Blue Lotus and the Efficient Eggs. Tale of two fates here. Blue Lotus second in the championship. Efficient Eggs. Down, close to the relegation zone in 12th place. Blue Lotus have lost a marble very early though. Everyone else is still going. Efficient Eggs have all their marbles still going out. One of them has gotten stuck. Blue Lotus will get three finishes, but the Efficient Eggs will also. So the Efficient Eggs are going to move on here. Blue Lotus, that one marble at the top, really dragging the team down. If they had continued going, they could have got the win here with the Efficient Egg getting stuck in the four. Three finishers apiece is pretty good for both teams. It's going to come down to the fourth marble. 34 to 31, Efficient Egg will pull off an upset victory over the Blue Lotus. That's very good for the Eggs to try to save themselves from potential relegation. Now, Icicles and the Celestials in the fourth heat. Celestials just barely in the relegation zone. They're going to want to advance here. Icicles mid pack on the standings. Ooh, well, the Icicles being shoved aside by the Celestials. Celestials have three marbles still going, so do the Icicles. Celestials will get two finishers. Icicles will get three. Ooh, but it's gonna be close here, I think. Icicles had three finishers, but one of the marbles well ahead of everyone else at the top. Celestials only two finishers. Their other two marbles were further down the course than that one icicle. So it's gonna be three finishers for the icicle. That does it for the for the icicles by two points. They will get the win over the Celestials, but that was very close between those two teams. Icicles are gonna get some good points here while Celestials. Things are looking very grim for them. Now, Pumpkin Batch and the Treat Fleet in the next heat, the fifth heat. Treat Fleet have two marbles going. Oh, everyone is stuck! Everyone is stuck except for three marbles, two Treat Fleet, and one of the Pumpkin Patch. And that's not going to be good for the Pumpkin Patch. How did this happen? I think everyone got stuck in that transition between the two and the three, except those three marbles. And the Treat Fleet with these two marbles, I think they're pretty much going to seal advancement for them. They have one finisher apiece, one of the three fleet slots in the seven, and that's going to do it for them. Four points over the Pumpkin Batch. Everyone's stuck in that place between the two and the three, and the Pumpkin Batch so unfortunate to not be advancing. Now, Mountain Climbers and the Nickel Knights in the sixth heat. The Nickel Knights in the relegation zone, Mountain Climbers mid-pack as well. Ooh, Mountain Climbers have lost two marbles! Nickel Knights also have two marbles off the course are stuck, but they will get two finishers. Mountain Climbers had two marbles going, one of them 
will fall off. So mountain climbers only get one finisher. And the Nikolites are going to move on here. Two mountain climbers just plummeting off in the exact same place. Oh, that is not good for them. And the mountain climbers could not make it up with any more finishers. Oh, aside from their captain. So the Nikolites, despite having a one there, which I didn't see, Nikolites with two finishers will get advancement. By four points, they will do it over the mountain climbers. And the Nikolites are going to the quarterfinals. Getting some much needed points as well. Now, Team Nectar and the Deserters. Deserters, what a sliver in this event. Two seasons ago, would have lost to Marvel very early though. They need to advance here pretty much to save their season. They will get two finishers. And Team Nectar just won. Actually, Team Nectar kind of fell apart towards the end there. All the Marbles were going beyond the initial point, but three of them got stuck somewhere along the way. Only one finisher for, the desert for, the, for Team Nectar. Two for the deserters. Good teamwork there from the deserters, helping them get across the line, and that's gonna do it with two finishers. Despite having two ones, based on the tiebreaker of finishers, deserters are going to move on ahead of Team Nectar, and that's their first top off finish all season. This might be just what they need to save their season. But Bubble Squad and Hillishers run us out in the final heat. Bubble Squad, the championship leaders in the B division. Hillishers are putting up a good fight though. All of them going out, just one have gotten stuck. Bubble Squad, the Willie Mount. Across the line, yes they will. Bubble Squad, all four of them are going to get to the end. Not much offense from either team, all of them being quite conservative in this match. Healyfree is losing one marble, that is going to do it for them, they are not going to advance. Bubble Squad managed to get all four of the marbles to the end. A perfect 40 for the championship leaders and they're going to be moving on. Healyfree is a deficit of 8 points, that is not going to be good, we haven't seen big deficits in this event. Healyfree, 15 place for them. Team Nectar gets the best of the rest ahead of the Celestials, Blue Lotus, Mountain Climbers, Pumpkin Patch. And then follow them. Now, Rock Pools and the Bacon Brawlers in the first quarter final. Rock Pools led by Cove. Bacon Brawlers led by Bacon. These two not having any lineup changes. Rock Pools have lost a couple. Bacon Brawlers have three robbers going. One of them will get stuck. Another one will get stuck. Bacon Brawlers will only get one finisher compared to the Rock Pools two. This is going to be pretty close. Rock Pools. More inconsistent for them, but they did manage to get two marbles across the line. Bacon Brothers kind of fell apart towards the end there. One of the marbles getting stuck in their tracks at the 7, another one falling off in the 8, but the Bacon Brothers are more consistent throughout, and it's gonna be do it. It's, that's gonna do it for them. 6, 7, and 8. They don't manage to get to the end, but that is high scoring enough to get them advancement ahead of the Rock Pools. And the Bacon Brothers are getting another top 4 finish as we move on to the Fishing Decks and the Icicles in the second quarter final. One of the fish sticks falls off very early. Icicles, everyone's still going. No, just three marbles of them going. Efficient eggs have one finisher. Icicles, ooh, one of the efficient eggs getting pushed by the icicle across the line. The efficient eggs on icicle, I think we got two finishers apiece. And who's gonna get advancement? This is gonna be pretty close between these two teams. There's one of the icicles getting, pushing the efficient egg across the line. I think the efficient eggs are going to do it. Actually, icicles only had one finisher, so the efficient eggs by five points are going to beat the icicles here, and they're going to get some much needed points with a top four finish. They could be on for their first medal of the season as they go on to quarterfinal C. Creek Fleet and the Nickel Knights. Creek Fleet, very consistent, haven't got a medal. Nickel Knights have a medal, but they're down in the relegation zone. Two of the Nickel Knights are stuck. One of the Creek Fleet goes hurtling off the course. And the Treefly have three going. One of them will get stuck in the eight, but two finishes for the Treefly. Also two finishes for the Nickel Knights, but two of the Nickel Knights well up there in the two and the three. And I think the Treefly, based on consistency, should be moving on here over the Nickel Knights. And the Treefly will be getting a top four. They also could be on for their first medal this season. Two finishes apiece, but with an eight for the Treat Fleet, that is good enough for them to get the win by six points and get another top four finish. Now, Deserters and the Bubble Squad. These two, opposite ends of the standings. Bubble Squad in first, Deserters in dead last. What are the Bubble Squad? Goes hurling very early, but the Deserters have also lost some few marbles. Deserters will get two finishers. Bubble Squad also two finishers. One of them will overshoot it at the end. Two finishers apiece, but one of the Bubble Squad has an eight in there. So I'm not sure if the Deserters will do it. They got a silver in this event two seasons ago. I think the Bubble Squad will just barely do enough ahead of the Deserters. Oh, the Deserters, their run in this event is going to come to an end. They could have used a medal here. That's only going to be 5th at best. Bubble Squad will manage to do it. 
And before we get to the top four, we will have a tiebreaker for seventh place between the Rock Pools and the Nickel Knight. Just their captains going. Cove and Nickel. Rock Pools. Out in front, Nickel Knights. Ooh, they'll get pushed aside by the Rock Pools. Rock Pools will get 10. Nickel Knights will get 6. But they will swap around once again. So everyone has. So they both have a spot at f in the front. So Nickel Knights, this is their opportunity to score ahead of the Rock Pools. They have a 4 point deficit. Ooh, Rock Pools goes overshoots in the 2. Nickel Knights, will they make it to the end? They will not, but that will be a 7 for the Nickel Knights. Means that they're going to make up that deficit and win the tiebreaker and get 7th place. And Nickel Knights, they need every point they can get. So that is going to be a good tiebreaker win for them. But now we're going to move on to the semi-finals. Bacon Brawlers and the Efficient Eggs. Bacon Brawlers got their first medal in the last event. The Efficient Eggs still looking for their first medal. These two rivals from the Breakfast Bowl. Efficient Eggs have all four of the marbles still going. And they will all four will make it to the end. Bacon Brawlers are going to be defeated here by their rivals. And the Efficient Eggs are going to move on. With all four, all four finishers. They're getting their first medal of the season. And some much needed points. To get well clear of that relegation zone. Bacon Brawlers. They're going to run to in the sand. Hasn't come to an end. They will still contend for the bronze. But with one marble getting a four. They will not get a top two finish. Now Treat Fleet and the Bobble Squad. In the other semi-final. So many of the other top contenders are out. Bobble Squad. If they advance here. This could be very dangerous for all the other teams. Bobble Squad well in front of the Treat Fleet. Treat Fleet taking their time. One of the Treat Fleet are stuck. One of the Bobble Squad falls off of the Bobble Squad. Looks like the other three finishers. Actually they both get three finishers. But the last Bobble Squad fell well down of the Treat Fleet. And the Bobble Squad are going to the final. The Bobble Squad could potentially clinch the B Division. They came into this event with a small lead over the Blue Lotus and everyone else. But if they win this gold, they might be able to win the B Division before the final event. And the Bobble Squad, they are getting their fourth medal in a row with a top two finish. Now, Bacon Brothers and the Tree Fleet to see who gets the bronze. These two teams have both podiumed in this event last uh, in previous seasons. Bacon Brothers, their captain going well ahead of everyone else. And they're paying the price for that inconsistency. Treat Fleet will manage to hold on with one finisher apiece, actually. But Treat Fleet have one marble well clear of everyone else. I think the Treat Fleet, based on the consistency, they will do it. The Bacon Brothers look very shaky all throughout here. The Tree Fleet do manage to get one to the end. Actually, Tree Fleet will get two finishers. Bacon Brothers, no, Tree Fleet just one finisher. Bacon Brothers just one as well. So the Tree Fleet, by 10 points, will manage to do it over the Bacon Brawlers. And they will capture their first medal of the B Division. But now for the final. Efficient Dex and the Bobble Squad to see who wins this goal. Two teams in opposite parts of the stands. Oh, all the Efficient Dex are stuck. All of the Efficient Dex has just gotten halted. By the Bobble Squad, and that is it. The Bobble Squad will capture another gold medal. The third of the season. The Bobble Squad came into this event with the championship lead. They're going to come out of it with a huge lead over everyone else. And they're going to be almost unbeatable in this B division. 23-8. Bobble Squad will capture gold. They did it in the triathlon. They do it in the quadrilla descent. And it's the fourth, gold medal, fourth medal in a row for the Bobble Squad. Very well done to them. Fish and eggs will get their first podium, and so will the Tree Fleet in third. But well done to our podium finishers. And with that gold medal, the Bobble Squad have done it. They are your Season 4 Champions of the B Division, clinching it before the final event, just like the Bacon Brawlers did last season. Blue Lotus down to the Amaramas have also saved themselves from relegation. Hazelnuts and the Fish and Eggs are not safe from relegation, but can still make the final podium. Rock Wolves, Nickel Knight, and Celestials cannot make the final podium. And unfortunately for the Deserters and the Heliospheres, they are relegated before the final event. The next event will be Zone Collision in the A Division, the penultimate event of the A Division, and then the two marathons to close the season out. Stay tuned. 